fourth and one. Essentially, this is the game. To try to send it to a second overtime. To send us to a fourth overtime. Right now, Ohio State faced with a fourth down and a yard and a half. The Cardinal needs a yard to stay alive. Geiger from 41 for the win. 21 plays. The Spartans have had it for nine minutes. But it's only a championship drive if you can finish it. Tell your punter to one step it. Don't take your normal steps. One step it and get it out. For the very first time, Mark D'Antonio is leading his team on a march to what Spartan Nation hopes is a bright future. But all the fans are charged up in East Lansing as the Mark D'Antonio era begins. Greg, we all right? Got some young blood? Huh? We gonna be all right today? I think Mark D'Antonio is the perfect fit for this job. He's been here before. He knows the landscape. He has his staff and system in place. And maybe the most important thing, he has a passion for Spartan football. Let's get it going. Let's go. Let's get it going. Go, go, go. Play action, Hoyer going for the home run, up top, perfectly thrown, touchdown to Devin Thomas. We first came here in 1995 as assistants for Nick Saban and really became Spartans at that time. So when we had the opportunity to come back, it was a very easy decision for all of us because we had people here in the community that already knew us, that we had support from them. So really, we had the best of both worlds. We brought our coaches, there were people here maybe that we already knew, so there was a built-in support system, and, and um, you know, my, my, my children never stopped being Spartans, so when we came back, you know, we just grew with the, with the program and we, we grew with the community. Green is stopped in the backfield by Adam Decker, and Michigan State will take over on downs again. Third down, five. Spartans at their 39. Bryan's in the shotgun with Javon to his right. Quick throw over the middle. Caught by Blair White. He's behind the Wolverines. He's at the 30, He's gone. the 25, the 20. Angles to the left pylon. He's in there. Standing up. Touchdown, MSU. But Brian Hoyer will play fake it. Toss it left side to Josh Rouse. Into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Michigan State wins in Ann Arbor. 35 to 21. How does that feel to see your players hold it up? Feels great. Been a long time. Been a long time since I've seen that big fella. Yeah, I'm very, very proud of the fact that of our continuity on our staff. Uh, I think it speaks to the work environment. You know, loyalty is a two-way street. We've all grown together, and uh, a lot of our children on our family I've known since they've been born. Um, you know, that's a, you know, that's that's a nice feeling. Conroy, it's a fake. Bates is going to throw. He's going to throw. Touchdown! Michigan State wins it in overtime. The call of the year. Badgers have three defenders back inside the five-yard line. Kirk rolls to his right. Finally sends a long spiral to the end zone. Tap he got right. it! And caught at the goal line. Caught at the goal line. He got over, George. After further review, the runner bid was squashed at the goal line. There it is. There it is. Spartans win. Unbelievable. Touchdown. Touchdown, MSU. Yeah, I got some favorites, but uh, it's tough to really say one. Um, I think you got to look back and say the Rose Bowl and, uh, you know, probably got to say the first Big Ten championship game against Wisconsin, even though we didn't win, was very memorable to me because it sort of set us up for the second one versus Ohio State. Fourth down. Here's Braxton Miller. And he won't get it. What a play. Danico Allen. He'll give it straight ahead. Langford. Still running. Touchdown, Spartans. They did it. The Spartans 34, Ohio State 24. I guess some of the games that maybe people don't talk about are the games after those big games, you know, and I've always tried to say, what are you going to do next? Whether you win that big game or you lose it, you know, what's, what's going to be your response to, to adversity? You know, that to me a, a lot of times is how we're measured as people. And, uh, um, and so we've really tried to build into those games being big, big games for us. And I think our, our players have delivered. This is the Rose Bowl. They don't call it the granddaddy of them all for nothing. 
It's the oldest and most famous bowl game played in the world. As everybody around the world now knows about the Michigan State Spartans. Hogan going to go deep and a reaching catch, but an interception by Waynes. Oh, my. What a play by Trey Waynes. Connor winds up, throws over the middle. Oh, there he is. Five. He's Oden in there. Lippin dives into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. It's all coming down to one play here, George. Fourth down in ball game. Long count. Hands He's to Gaffney. He's, He's, He's stuck He won't him. go anywhere. He won't go anywhere. Michigan State stops Stanford and stuffs them at the line of scrimmage. And the Spartans are on their way to a win in the Rose Bowl. You know, really, it's been about one at a time, really. It's, I mean, I think we've tried to take every single football game and, and put it, it's, it's got its own life. And so, you know, when you stack together 100 of them, um, I think it's a statement towards the uh, continuity that's been here, our coaching staff, our players. And there are so many people that have been involved in these games that, you know, have had an impact on these games, whether it's been great players or decisions made by administration to play, play here, there, wherever, or some of the different things, resources we've been given, and then also, obviously, the coaching aspect of it, our coaching staff, and we've had tremendous continuity here, and I think that's, that breeds success. has been one flat out war. Now Michigan has, <clears throat> they're going to punt the ball here. Oh, he has trouble with the snap, and the ball is free. It's picked up by Michigan State's Jalen Watts Jackson, and he scores on the last play of the game. Unbelievable. You know, I know I'm sitting here doing this interview here but about these games, but you know, until I look at a schedule and say, okay, that game in this, t in this year, those type of things, um, the bowl games, um, the big games, the moments, you know, overcoming adversity, uh, you know, playing when you don't have one of your star players playing and uh, somebody else picks up the slack, you know, those are the things that really, uh, really stand out for me, those, those moments when guys rise up and, and meet challenges. Uh, that's as big as anything for me. Um, you know, certainly finishing the season, what's the last game like? You know, those type of things really um, have meant a lot to me. It's really been a response to, to challenges as much as anything. It's not so much about uh, a particular team that we play against, but it's more about the moments and the time that those moments are created. We are set for the fifth Big Ten Championship game. Michigan State, it's their third appearance. Iowa, their first appearance. This one, folks, for a trip to the college football playoffs. Bethard looking over the middle. Intercepted. Cox. He picked that one like Derek Jeter. This might be the series where they have to go score a touchdown. They might not get the ball back. This feels like it. This, this drive feels like the determining drive of this game. L.J. Scott, the deep man. L.J. Scott running right. And the Spartans are champions of the Big Ten for the ninth time and for the third time in six years under Mark D'Antonio. Yeah, you can reflect. It's, it's after year 11, year 12 is a month away. Yeah, it's a, it's a benchmark. You know, it's a benchmark. You know, you, you, you're always trying to challenge yourself to go to another limit. So I guess it is a benchmark. I saw where somebody had put down all the games that were won, you know, sort of in a, in a row, and there's a lot of time invested. I think I got all those scouting reports up there too, and they're about that thick. But um, I don't know, I take them one at a time. I look back and there were some ones that we should have won. Maybe there's a couple we should have lost. But, uh, you know, athletics and sport is such a challenging um, experience for our players, for our coaches, and for the general public. That's what's 
makes it so exciting and college football is very exciting so uh, we've been blessed to have the position that we've had and uh, we're going to just keep on keep on pushing forward.